In the past, we ranked negative traits. We ranked positive traits. We ranked professions. We ranked all the melee weapons. And now, in a bit, we haven't ranked anything. So today, I'm back and we are ranking vehicles in Project Zomboid. Welcome back, everybody. We all know that as you play for a while, you cannot cross the whole Nox country without having a good old vehicle. Sure, first when you start, you might just use any vehicle you can get your hands on because any vehicle is going to be better than no vehicle. But later on, you might want to get a bit picky. You might want to choose what you want. So, as we rank, we are looking at a couple of important things. First things first is their usefulness in single player and multiplayer, you know, there's different things over there. We're going to be looking at speed, we're going to be looking at how loud these cars are, how powerful their engines are, how uh, much cargo capacity they have, that's a very important one. How many seeds they have, that's more important for multiplayer. And the most important factor out there, who guesses it? Yes, it's coolness. How cool the car is, how good it sounds and drives and all that good stuff so let's just jump in here and begin we have as is tradition s a b c i added d because because reasons we also have f and down here we have all the cars that you can find in vanilla we have first a couple of sports cars then we go to standard cars and then in the end heavy duty like a lot of these cars like these last four belong to the same type of car but they kind of drive differently so we're gonna go through that as we go so let's start with sports cars first on the list is chevy cosette uh, you know what i don't know how to really pronounce these uh, names of cars properly this car right here it's a speedy car it's very rare which is a problem with sports cars it's gonna be kind of hard to find them so kind of hard to find replacement parts for it this is what brings the sports cars down a bit because it's really hard to find replacement parts for them because there's not that many cars you know now this one is very fast so if you want to drive around in style this will be your car if you want to just dab on somebody this will be your car if you want to get somewhere really fast this will be your car if you can find it but it is very loud it has very small cargo capacity like pretty much the lowest cargo space of them all which is reasonable uh it only has two seats so for multiplayer it's it's not the best it also cannot tow trailers which is definitely a problem so it has a lot of malices but this being the fastest car out there it brings the coolness factor way up there so we're gonna put it into a tier this is gonna be a tier it's not gonna be one of the best a tiers for sure but it's going to be an A tier. Now we move down next to the Chevy Primani, whatever it's called. This one does have a bit more cargo space, so it does have a bit more trunk capacity. It does have four seats, which helps, of course, if you are trying to do something in multiplayer. It does have decent uh, engine power. It does have a. Uh, it's actually decently quiet for a sports car, but still decently loud. And it's also not very common, it's hard to find repair parts for it. It doesn't make it, it's, it's not special in any way, it's not cool in any way. So this is a C tier car for me. Now next, we have Dash Elite over here, which is basically, from what I have seen, it's the same car as this one. Like I can't see any like anything that's really different from the Chevy Primani. Dash Elite just seems same-ish you know what it looks kind of cooler a bit a bit cooler so it goes into the c tier over there with this one now last from the sports cars we have marcia lang 4000 this one does have slightly more powerful engine than the previous two these two bad boys it does have the same trunk capacity but it only has two seats so again not very useful for multiplayer unless you're just playing with you know two people and there's that but because it only has two seats it has in overall less cargo capacity because you can't feel feel you can't feel like three extra seats if you're driving around alone it also is heavier than the other two so i think this one is just another downgrade in this one so we're gonna put this bad boy into d tier now as always you might 
very, very, very disagree with what I'm saying over here. And that's fine. We all have our own picks. I added the coolness factor, and the coolness factor is very, very subjective, right? So let me know down in the comments below, what do you think? What do you think is a good car and works well and all that stuff? You know, I'd like to know. So hit me with it. Now, next, we're going to be hitting the standard cars and we're going to have some some different different. Uh, you'll, you'll see. First things first, we have the Chevy series. It's a wagon. It's a wagon car. It's ugly brick of a car, like one of the ugliest cars you can imagine. It's quite heavy. It does have decent trunk storage for a standard grade car. It's got, I think, like 60 capacity. It of course has four seats, so you can fill extra ones. But it's also quite loud. And when it comes to coolness factor, it's ugly. Okay, it's ugly. It is very common though, so you will find it anywhere. But it's not a very drivable car. You're not enjoy gonna drive in this. So this bad boy is going to go down here in D tier and is going to join the sports car over there. Now next, this might surprise you, we have Chevy Dart. So this one is apparently the quietest car. This is the car for stealth. This is the car. It's very nimble. You can, you know, drive around zombies and then need to hit them all if you're an expert driver like I am. You know, we all seen that. Uh, you can, you can basically go on stealth missions with this boy, right? It does have low engine power. You're not going to go off-roading with this bad boy at all. It also has pretty low uh, cargo capacity, although, of course, you can fit in uh, extra stuff in the seats. It does have four seats, but only two doors. So if, you, if you're trying to fit in four people, you're going to have to do a bit of switching the, the seats as you, as you do that. So it's not really amazing, but it does have that stealth bonus over there and if you really want a stealthy car if you're trying to you know just go around zombies trying to not attract attention you know what this one's gonna be for you so i'm gonna actually drop into b tier it, i kind of like it it's also pretty common it's a standard standard grade vehicle so you can just repair it with anything you'll find repair parts all across the place now we have two chevy nialas we have the civilian one which you have the uh, taxis and not the taxi versions and then we have the police version, which is also, I believe, a ranger version you have of that. So let's take a look at the civilian version first. So this one, it has lower trunk space than the brick of a car over here, the wagon. It has lower, lower trunk space. Trunk space? It's basically an average car all across the board. It's, there's nothing special about it. It's... The only redeeming quality it has is that it's very common, so you'll find it anywhere you go. And it does drive a bit better than the wagon, but still, I don't think it's, it's a very good car. There's no coolness factor about it. This bad boy goes into D tier down here, joins these. Now, we go to a bit cooler car, the Chevy Niala Police slash Ranger version over here, and this bad boy it's pretty much the same. Like, I'm pretty sure, uh, if I know correctly, these police and fire trucks and all that stuff have the two-way radios installed instead of, like, just the normal radio, so you can get the emergency broadcast stuff and such going on. You can listen to that, so that's a bonus. They're definitely cooler. And most importantly, they have the lights up top. With those lights and the siren, you can get zombies to follow you where you want them. You know, you can just lead them out of where you want to go and then sneak past them. Maybe with Chevy Dark, who knows, you know? But it's, it's, it's not that amazing of a car. It's very average for everything. You're not really going to be off-roading with this because it's pretty low. But it's all, all around, it's, a, it's an average, decent car. So I'm actually going to put it in C tier, but I'm going to put it above these two. I think I still prefer it. The lights, the siren are pretty good and... It's, it's redeeming quality. All right, we have two more standard grade vehicles. First on the list over here is going to be Dash Rancher. This is not a car you see often. I feel like these ones are more uncommon than other any other standard grade vehicle. You know, you're not going to find these bad boys. Now, the problem, it has a couple of problems, right? It has low cargo capacity, you know, low trunk space. It only has two seats, so you can't fill in the seats. 
So again, for multiplayer, not the best one because you can't drive around with a couple of people, but it does have its redeeming quality. It's good for off-road, you know, you can off-road with this bad boy. It's got a decent engine power, but it's quite loud. So you're now definitely not gonna go on stealth missions with this bad boy. It's pretty loud, but got good engine power and you can off-road with it. So I think average in the middle over here, I think I would grade it lower than the police vehicles, but probably higher than these two fast boys. So there you go. And the, the last standard boy is Masterson Horizon. You'll find these all over the place. Like these bad boys are all over the place. So replacement parts are not gonna be hard. Of course, standard grade vehicles, you can combine them all together. So not even a problem. Uh, it's quiet, it's light, but it's not as quiet or actually it's maybe it's the same quiet, but not as light or something like that as the uh, Dart. So it's not as nimble, you know, it still has low trunk space, only two doors, but it does have four seats. I think it's slightly worse version than the Dart. So it's a slightly worse stealth vehicle. I'll put it somewhere in the middle over here. Like, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere between these bad boys. It's also not a cool one. <laughs> There's no coolness factor in this one. I'm sorry, just how it is. I'll make the rules, but that's how it is. Anyway, let's jump into the real meat of the vehicles out here. The heavy duty boys. Of course, it, you're gonna need to learn how to fix these bad boys. You need to go around finding replacement parts for these. But once you learn, you'll be good. So first things first, we have two Chevy D6s. The civilian version, we have the, I think, Fossil as well, and McCoy truck and normal one. Maybe it's not Fossil here, maybe it's Fossil. I, I don't remember exactly. I know it's McCoy truck. And that, and then you have the like fire and the ranger version. So we have these two. So first things first, civilian, it does have low, like it does have trunk at 80, which is definitely better than the standard grade vehicles. But for all these heavy duty vehicles, it's low, you know, it's, it's pretty low. It is a decently light vehicle for heavy duty. And of course, since it's high up there, you can off-road with it. It does have a very loud engine, so you will be heard, you know, and it only has two seats. So for cargo capacity, you would think this is a great vehicle, but it's actually not. I would definitely put it above these boys, but somewhere in the sea, I would still rank it probably lower than the police vehicle over here. That one is kind of useful. Uh, so somewhere over there. Now, if we switch to the fire slash ranger version, this one is better. It has pretty much all the same stuff, but it has lights. It has the coolness, the coolness factor. It still can't carry that much. You still can only have two people in there, but it's still better. It has that coolness factor. I think it goes into B tier over there. It's above this police bad boy, you know, but it's really not amazing. It's not A tier car. We're going to get to more A tier cars later on. Now, Next, we have the step van. This bad boy has the highest trunk capacity. Of course, you can only drive two people, you know, the driver and the, the boy next, but it has the highest trunk capacity. So if you are going to be driving something around, if you're trying to move your base, that would be the vehicle for you. But keep in mind, this is the heaviest vehicle in game. You don't really want to be off roading with this bad boy. You know, you want to stick to nice empty lanes, you know, just drive from point A to point B, no zigzagging, no rushing through zombies and all that stuff. It's pretty slow as well. You know, it's, it's awesome because it has good trunk capacity, but it doesn't drive many people. And, you know, over here we have the version, the new version from the Louisville, uh, whatever that distillery thing is, but you have, you know, the normal civilian trucks as well. Uh, I will put it into B, and it's like here in B. It's very useful because you can carry a lot, but otherwise not as much. Now, next we have the three versions of Dash Bull Driver Van. We have the civilian versions, we have the police slash fire version, and then we have the ranger slash boss oil version because they're all a bit different. So that's why I had to slice them apart. So first things first, civilian, 
it does have good trunk capacity it's 130 you know that, that's pretty good this one has 160 so you're just losing 30 over here and of course we're all talking about fully repaired full condition vehicles of course whatever vehicles you find they might be broken all stuff so you, you want to fully repair them to see these differences we are you know thinking that they're all the same thing uh they can off-road though so you can go with this one off the road it's not as heavy as this bad boy right uh again it only sits two people so that's a problem it apparently also has the loudest engine of them all so these three have the loudest engines of the all <laughs> which is uh which is interesting now even though it can off-road it doesn't have any coolness factor and it only drives two people so i will put it over here and i'll i'll drop it above the police vehicle well it doesn't have the coolness factor it's still a very very useful vehicle you know but i'll, I'll put it in c i think c is fine for it you know it's these civilian ones you, you'll find around next though we go to a really cool one this one is the police slash fire version and these ones are really good they have much better engine power than the civilian versions uh they of course have lights on there you can off-road with them they have um good capacity same as the civilian one right but they have much more powerful engine you can still sit only two but it has the lights so with lights you can of course attract zombies and all that stuff with the siren and for multiplayer it's powerful enough that this one deserves an eight tier spot and it can carry a lot like multiplayer or single player if i had to pick one car to go with i'll probably go with something like this you know even though it's not an s tier but i think it's a it's a car that's good for all conditions it's i think it's rarer to find these than the chevy d6s so you know it's a bit rarer but when you find them you know they'll be good now if we go into the ranger slash fossil version these ones are heavier than civilian ones right they have slightly worse engine power than police slash fire version but still better than civilian ones it's still better than civilian of course you can carry as much you can drive as many people it's slightly better than civilian i think it still drives a bit better than civilian but it's definitely worse than the police one so this one we're gonna drop in here uh somewhere let's let's say over there i don't know it's, it's gonna be in b it's, it's it's between these 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 are same ish maybe maybe it's better over there something like that uh, it's a it's a solid b you know what can you do it's a solid b anyway let's speed this up we're talking too much about this let's go to the franklin old terrain this one i actually had to remind myself that it actually exists because this one is pretty freaking rare you don't find this one a lot around it has 85 trunk which is not much but it is the highest trunk of all four seaters you can fill three more so you can actually get quite a lot of cargo capacity in there it can also off-road it can sit four people so it's great for multiplayer right it is heavy though and it is very loud so it's it's not the best and the problem is it's rare so it's gonna be hard to find it but i think this is a very solid b i actually would put it like the high b tier i think this is a great car for multiplayer if you have a squad of four people i think it is although you're gonna be filling it pretty fast but you know still pretty decent all right let's go onwards to four different versions of franklin valley line I don't know if that's properly pronounced, but there, there you go. So the first one, we have the six-seater. Now this one, you would think, hey, this is great for multiplayer to have a large squad. But the thing is, really not many people actually play with six people. or six people in a group that they need one car. If you have that many people, you're better off with like three cars. You'll get more out of that, right? It does have trunk only at 50, but of course you can fit all the seats if you are alone. So you can get up to, I don't know, 100 and something, something. I don't know. You can get out there. But it's very heavy. So it doesn't, doesn't work well on roads. Definitely doesn't work off-road. It is the slowest vehicle out there combined with these radio bands. Its only redeeming quality is that for multiplayer it has six seats. 
but as I said, you're better off driving around with three cars or two cars if you have that many people. This is gonna be our only F. Drops an F, you don't really wanna be driving this bad boy around, you're better off finding any other vehicles. This one, F. Now, next we have the civilian version, we have the Spiffo over here, there's a couple more uh, of these uh, Franklin Valley lines. They are lighter than the six seaters and the vans, right? They're still slow, but they have good uh, trunk capacity. They have the same trunk capacity as these uh, Dash Bull drivers. So you can fit quite a lot in there, right? It only sits two, but of course it's, it's just, this is a worse version of any of these uh, Bull drivers, right? It's just a worse version, but it can carry a lot. It's, if you get the Spiffle one, I guess you have some coolness factor. But otherwise, this is not that amazing of a truck, you know. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put it like middle of the seat here somewhere. I don't know. It's probably, probably better over here. I, you know, it's somewhere in the seat. It's fine. That's all I'm gonna say. Next, we go to the radio vans. So this is Val Franklin Valley Line radio vans. These are as heavy as this bad boy. They are also as slow as this bad boy, right? They do have only two sits, which you would think it makes it worse than this bad boy, but it does make it better because it have more cargo capacity. Now hear me out over here, right? If you fill this one, all of the seats, if you fill them with load, you would probably be carrying as much as this one. But in this one, you have all of the stuff in the same trunk. On this one, if you need to get in or out fast, you need to empty a seat or something like that. So. This one, it also has a bit of a coolness factor with it being a radio van because it's special. So it's just above it. It's like in the D tier, but it's not not amazing. And you don't really, really want to be driving this one around unless you want to look cool. That leaves us with the ambulance. Our only S tier car over here. You love to see it. It's a great car. If you can find one that works completely, it's awesome. It's got great trunk capacity at 130. It's got very, very high engine power. You're gonna be cruising around in this bad boy like crazy mother trucker. It has the lights on so you can attract the zombies with a siren. Uh, it's it's only a two-seater, so for multiplayer, that doesn't really do that much for you. But I think the coolness factor also brings it up to the ass, which also concludes our ranking today. And I can see we've done uh, a lot of seat here over here. We are very uh, midline, low midline focused, you know? It's almost all the stuff that is around your belt, like on my body. It, it does matter. We're not gonna talk about that. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, I have ranked more stuff in the past. We have rankings of negative traits, positive traits, professions, weapons, all that stuff. There's gonna be links up there, that way, down below in the description, all that stuff. Check it out. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.